world. Terka Lumeres. No one knows how far its lands and oceans stretch. For the people are no match against the hordes of monsters that crawl the earth. Barriers protect the cities in which we live, and we are completely dependent upon them for our survival. These barriers are generated by the Blastia. The Blastia use the primeval power of air that fills the world to provide us with fire, water, and light. They provide us with everything that has made the Empire prosper. Perhaps one day, we may even forget the threat of the vicious monsters lying in wait, just beyond the barriers. The blessings of the Blastia will bestow ever more prosperity to the world and peace to its people. I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this town? From the Imperial capital, Zophius, bedrock of peace, we pray may tranquility bless this world. What's with all the yelling, Ted? Look! The Aqua Blasty is broken again! And they just finished fixing it! What's the big deal? Just leave it to the mighty Imperial Knights. That's what they're there for. Huh, the Knights? You know they never come to the lower quarter. What about the heroic Flynn? I already tried to get Flynn. They wouldn't even let me see him! Oh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? Never mind that. Come on! We're short on people! Ted! Ted! You get down here! They need your help, too! Oh, I'll, I'll be there in a sec! Yuri, come on already! That's weird. He always comes running whenever there's trouble. This place is going to become an aquarium soon if this keeps up. First, the trouble with the knights yesterday. Now the Aquablastia breaks. 
Why does stuff like this happen every day in the lower quarter? Uh, I know, I know. There's no use whining about it. Uh. We've got to see it off somehow! What's going on? Any sunken treasure down there? Yeah, but you're late, so I'm not sharing. <laughs> How nice. Hey, it's sink or swim in this world. Looks like that blue-blooded mage we hired to fix the blast deal left the job half done. Glad you can find the time to stop by, Yuri! Take it easy with the water sports, old man. You're not getting any younger. You're up next! Not afraid of a little water, I hope. Yikes. Come on now, put your backs into it! Hey! Oh! Hey! Ace is really going at it. He feels responsible. He's the one who pushed the people to get the money together for the repairs. And now he's the one who's all wet. It's not Hanks' fault that mage did a two-bed repair job, though. That's true. He even parted with his wife's keepsake to help raise the money. your core anywhere? You know, that shiny piece in the center? Huh? Is it gone? Yeah, the Blastio won't work with the core missing. That aristocrat who came to do the repairs was the last person to touch the Blastio, right? That's right, a Mr. Mordio. When he lives in the Royal Quarter? Yeah, so? Forget about that, Yuri. Give us a hand here. Sorry, Hanks. I just remembered an errand I've got to run. Hey, wait just a minute! You're not seriously thinking of going to Mr. Morio's place, are you? The Royal Quarter? Me? I wouldn't be caught dead going to a place like that. It gives me the creeps. Damn it, Yuri! Just because you can do a few tricks with that bony blast here, you think you're invincible. Here's hoping he doesn't do anything crazy. He always seems to cause problems when the lower quarter's involved. Even the knights have started keeping an eye on him. Well, it's just an average day for Yuri. I'm sure he'll be fine.
Looks like the nobles are living the sweet life as usual. Oh, huh? The lower quarter's right there. They still don't give a damn. It's not their loss, so what do they care? They should act, you know, noble. Not just dress nice and hide in their mansions. Oh. Yuri! So it is you who are the cause of all this commotion! I know he's poor, but breaking into an aristocrat's house? My, my, how the mighty have fallen! Just what I needed. Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Just I what say, is a Tweedle anyway? No hope of escape! We've got you surrounded! Does it look like I'm trying to escape? See, it's stuff like that that keeps you guys from getting promoted. You did not just say that! I say, you take that back! Enough beating around the bush, I guess.
You're dead! You're dead! You should thank me. I'm giving you some extra practice. Come on, guys. You can do better than that, can't you? Looks like I won't be catching up with that carriage anytime soon. How typical of the Schwann Brigade. They can't even manage to capture a single lowlife. Captain Cumor? I say, our apologies for this unsightly display. I'm afraid the Imperial Knights have no use for you, lowborn scum. Uh, please, don't let Sir Schwan know about this, sir. I can't believe our taxes go to paying these guys. There he is. I say, that tops it all. Abandoned by his faithful pooch. <laughs> well, well, you've had a busy day, haven't you, Mr. Yuri Lowell? I'm rather busy myself, but I suppose I can afford to play with you for a while. Gentlemen! It's rats like you that make Flynn's job so difficult. Flynn, a little suffering is just what that upstart lieutenant needs. When you've finished with him, throw him in the prison as usual. Ten days or so ought to teach him a lesson. So like I was saying, the thief made off with a priceless treasure from that noble's mansion. I know, I know. Then he was caught and the loot was returned, right? No. See, that's just nobility trying to keep things quiet. The treasure in the mansion right now is a fake. You're pulling my leg. Hey, you didn't hear it from me, bub. The Dark Wings are going nuts looking for the hideout. You mean the Thieves' Guild? <clears throat> that's enough out of you. Almost mealtime. Hey, neighbor, you're awake, right? You gotta be getting tired from keeping so quiet. You think that little story up all by yourself, old man? You must have plenty of time on your hands. Old man? Now you've gone and hurt this old man's feelings. Besides, I didn't make up nothing. I've got eyes and ears the world over digging up information for me. <laughs> sure you do, old man. Hey, I am what I am. Go ahead and ask me something. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Want to know about the Pirate Guild's sunken treasure? How about the sorcerer who makes his home at the ends of the earth? Or wait, I've got it. I just want to know how to get out of here. Well, I'm not sure what you're in for, but they'll let you out if you keep your trap shut for ten days. The lower quarter will be underwater by then. The lower quarter? Ah, oh, yeah, I heard about that. I wonder how they're all doing right now. Sorry, neighbor. That's one piece of dirt I don't have. And what am I gonna do about that damn Mordio? The Mordio? You mean to say you've got connections to the famed mage from Ospio, the City of Scholars? Well, do you know about him? Oh, wanna know, huh? I'm afraid that information won't come cheap. The famed mage from Ospio, the City of Scholars, right? I think I got it. Well, wait, that's not it. He's the, uh, the head of the Gourmet Guild. No, wait, it's the, uh, I mean... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Out. Oh well, just when things were getting good. Hurry up. What is Commandant Alexei doing here? Whoa! Just who are you anyway? And what does the head of the Knights want with you? Beneath the statue of the Goddess. What are you doing? I said hurry up. All right, easy. I'm coming. I did say I was looking for a way out of here. Back again. Man, I was just in here last month for fighting some knights collecting taxes. I guess I get free meals out of it, if you can call it food. Damn, Cumor has made this way more complicated than it needed to be. Thank you. 